two pounds of home-style meatballs. Now you got two cans of enchilada sauce. These are 10 ounce cans. We're just gonna saturate all of the balls. We're gonna top that with a little bit of taco seasoning. This is just a Mexican meatballs. Tex-Mex is probably the best term for it. White onion, just chopped small. That looks good. And we're gonna top that with some Rotel. This has the green chilies in it as well. It's been drained. I'm just gonna dump that right in. And now I'm just gonna mix that up so that everything is all mixed in there. We've got the onions and the tomatoes and the enchilada sauce and the taco seasoning. And one more thing we need from the fridge. Would you please get me some cheese? You'll see it right there on top. All right. This is gonna be so good. Ooh, there it is. Mexican blend. Yeah. All right. So this has got all the different kinds of cheese that are traditionally in Mexican cheese, but this is the Velveeta kind. I actually like the Velveeta shredded cheese because it melts really nicely. Now you don't have to use Velveeta if you're not a fan of Velveeta, or maybe y'all are one of those people that like to shred your own cheese. Do you prefer shredding your own cheese or do you just get the bag? Either way works fine. Now we're gonna put the lid on it. We're gonna cook this on high for two to three hours or on low for four to six hours but we need something to go with these Mexican meatballs. So now we're gonna try to make a quick and easy version of Mexican rice. We're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the pan. And now we're gonna add some seasoning. Y'all are always telling me I don't use enough seasoning, so we are gonna double up this time. We've got some onion powder there. We're gonna use one teaspoon of onion powder. We've got some garlic powder. One teaspoon of garlic powder. We're gonna use one teaspoon of ground cumin. And maybe a little bit more. Is that more than one teaspoon? I'm, I'm an eyeballer, y'all. Do you like exact measurements or do you eyeball? And then we're gonna do some sea salt as well. They say that this pink sea salt is better than the regular salt. Let me know what y'all think about that. Is it supposed to be better for you and why is that? And we're just gonna mix that in with the olive oil. Now I am actually following a recipe right now so I'm as confused as you are, <laughs> but this is what it said to do. We just mix all the seasonings with the oil, and once that's mixed up, then we're gonna add, it's smelling really good, actually. It smells good. Yeah, then we're gonna add. It doesn't look really good right now. Two cups of water. Oh my, it's weird. One can of tomato sauce. Zero does not like that. <laughs> the dogs are excited about this one. Do y'all have pets at home and dogs that are barky like us? If you do, let us know. In fact, go ahead and show us photos of your pets. I love when you put the photos in the comments. I've got some fresh cilantro. This is two tablespoons. We're gonna add that to it as well. And once this starts to boil, that's when we're gonna add our rice. We are making a quick and easy version of Mexican rice. Now, do not come for me in the comments. I know that this is not authentic Mexico. I've been to Mexico many times. The food there is incredible. I am not trying to replace that. I'm just trying to give you an option for when you're short on time. All right, it's bubbling up. That means it is time to add our rice. Hold on, stop, do it again, do it again. Stand by, rolling. All right, we've got bubbles. That means it's time to add the rice. Because this is quick and easy, we're using instant rice. Now with traditional Mexican rice, you obviously would not do that, but we want this to be a quick recipe. I've got two cups of this white rice. We're gonna dump that in. Mix it up. And then we're gonna put the lid on and allow it to continue to boil. It's looking good, right? Yeah. It smells really good. I'm gonna tell y'all a secret. This is my first time making Mexican rice. So I am excited and a little bit nervous. I'm gonna tell y'all a secret. This is actually my first time making Mexican rice. So I'm a little bit excited and nervous, but if you wanna know who makes really good authentic Mexican rice, that is Patty C. You might see her on some of our videos as well. She makes great cooking videos. So make sure you follow her. It's Patty S-E-A, Patty C. She's Mexican and she has some delicious recipes as well. 
All right, now we're gonna just place the lid on. We're gonna let that cook for about five minutes and then our Mexican rice is ready to eat. And then it's gonna be time to take those meatballs out of the crock pot and taste test everything together. It's a fiesta. I can't wait. Y'all, our Mexican style meatballs smell so good. I cannot wait to dig in and try these, but check out our Mexican rice. Uh -huh. It actually turned out really good. I'm gonna be serving the meatballs over the top of our rice. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Now I added the cheese at the beginning, but if you wanted to just add the cheese and cook it for about five more minutes, you could do that. We're just gonna dig in. We've got a little bit of everything in here. We have the enchilada sauce, we have the meatballs and the cheese. And of course, if you wanted to add more cheese, you could too. We've got some onions in there. Wow, why did I not think of this sooner? This is like authentic Mexican, right? Now, this is not authentic. We all know that this is not authentic, but it is <laughs> going to be delicious nonetheless. All right, I'm going to now... Kyle, will you hold that sure for me, can. please? I've got some fresh cilantro. Okay. We're just going to sprinkle a little bit of that over the top as well. Are you guys a fan of cilantro, or do you think it tastes like soap? There's a heated debate going on our page about cilantro. Now I'm going to take some of these tri-colored tortilla strips. I just think that's going to add some color and crunch. And this is a recipe that I created. People are often asking me, where do you get your ideas from? Sometimes I just dream them up like this one. I thought these were a good combination of flavors and we are about to find out and see. Kyle, are you gonna come taste test with okay, us? Okay, I'm a little bit of- Let's try this. All right, here we go. Now, do you want, you wanna just get a big bite of everything or do you wanna try each thing separately? I don't know, maybe you should try the first bite on Okay, I'll try the rice first. Mmm. Rice is good. I tried a little bit of the rice you before. Just really good. Okay. All right, so here I'm we gonna, go. I think it's going to be hot, so be careful. Here I can go. already Mexican tell. Mexican meatballs coming up. We have the enchilada sauce in there. Here you go. <laughs> You're going to like it. It's good. It's good, isn't it? It is good. Surprisingly good, guys. I like it. I like that. Give me some more of that rice as well. And it... Mmm. I think this is going to I'm be sorry, the new so thing added to the uh, Mexican restaurants right here. They're going to have Mexican meatballs. <laughs> Y'all don't come for me in the comments. I just thought it was going to be delicious. It's a combination of some of the things that are popular in Mexican recipes, like the enchilada sauce, the taco seasoning. We had the uh, onions and cheese. This was this was a winner for me. I think this was delicious. The tomatoes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll have another bite, by the way. I actually really like this. Y'all so. hear that? See. Now you don't doubt me so much, do you? Mm. It's good.